warm, but now we're back to our um, a very enjoyable weather. Especially, I think um, uh, the weather is welcoming this universal bourbon. You know that you know this is similar to maybe you guys have a colder weather up there. Up there. Um, so, happy Sabbath. Um, my name is Angela, and I want to welcome everyone um, to Lutheran Road Church. Um, this is the day that the Lord has made. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now it's on. Now it's on? By the way, this is my son. He's going to college um, in September. <laughs> Um, welcome again. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. So we want to welcome um, the Berman University. Is it an orchestra? Yeah, here to perform for us this Sabbath. This is very special. And we want to also welcome Melody. We haven't seen her for a while. And she's here with us. So um, let us um, get together and um, greet each other. Um, say hi and give people a hug and spots our visitors. We know that um, these are visitors, but we want to know if there's other visitors that we can welcome um, after we mingle and, and say hi to each other. before they do their okay. their stuff but okay so yeah. i just say do and then the i'll do the random visitors yes i'll okay. do the call to worship oh. after and then just invite everybody to pray neil neil yes um that would be you have to pray yeah that would be after we introduce uh present our uh, uh fundraising project okay so after call to worship All right, please find our seats.
Do we have any visitors today? We have two deacons with the mics back there. Do we have any visitors? Yes. In your name, sir? Wow, welcome. Anyone else? Maury. I just met uh, Yoshiku and uh, Kerry from Hawaii. This is the first time they are coming to our church, so we welcome them. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Hi, happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. This is our first time to come to your church, too. <laughs> wow, and your name, ma'am? I'm Madeline. Madeline, welcome. Hi, this is um, Mike. He is, um, I guess the best way to describe it is kind of like a nephew. I don't know how we're related. Grandma would have to explain this. But anyway, Mike is from Indonesia. He is a junior at Auburn up in Washington. He's here for spring break. Wow, welcome. <laughs> Anyone else? Okay, we welcome our visitors and, oh, I don't know if anyone introduced the Skoritzes. Have you been introduced? Uh, this is Pastor Skoritz and his wife. He's associate pastor of the Mentone Church. Wow. So they're just neighbors of ours. Happy to have you. Welcome. <laughs> anyone else? We welcome each of you. And we have a potluck at the end of the service, so we welcome all our visitors to join our potluck, and we can um, continue to fellowship. Um, also, I want to remind us that we still have our uh, prayer parents' prayer corner here at the end of the service, so I will make a circle here at the end, and please feel free to come up. We want to continue to pray for our children. Um, now, Des has announcement. Uh, we have a little bit of church business to do. Uh, last week, we mentioned the names of the uh, members of the select committee. We have to vote them in. So uh, to remind everyone, uh, the names are Lacey Batten, Mark Reeves, Yarni Cheng, uh, Angela Lee, I'll get to that in a sec, um, Betty Ong, Pam Young, and Esther Wong. Um, uh, with regards to Angela, she... The, the original idea was that the um, uh, pastoral staff were going to be ex officio members of the uh, select committee, but you guys voted her in legitimately and did not vote me or Kevin in legitimately. <laughs> <laughs> so we know where we stand now. <laughs> so we figured, we figured it actually makes more sense to have her represent the uh, um, uh, pastoral staff on a... Uh, uh, voting as a voting member of the uh, select committee and have me and Kevin there as advisories uh, to the select committee without any voting rights. Okay, so that, that's what's going to happen. Um, so I need to get a motion. Is there a motion to accept? And there is a motion. Is there a second? Okay, there are many seconds. Uh, all in favor, say aye. All opposed? Okay, it's carried. We're going to meet today. So before our beautiful music begins, we would like to invite a couple more ladies to join me here. We have a very special project that we're very excited to, to present to you. If we can have the slides up. Um, how many of you notice that um, either rain or shine, we don't have the shades out there? We used to have some kind of shade, but we no longer have them because um, they were not um, up to code, so we have to take them down painfully. And so our ladies are holding the, the umbrellas to remind us that we need shade and we need them quick because summer here is very brutal at times. So in your bulletin, you can find um, the insert. This is um, uh, the fundraising committee and we have the name listed there and there are some current fundraising projects and one upcoming important fundraising project, which is 
this one, sorry about the, this, uh, the side, but this is what we're focusing on. Um, Serena has graciously put this together. We are formally announcing we have the first project for our building, and it is the goal is $20,000. We can all do it. Um, I think uh, for the Christmas tree project, in one weekend or two weekends, we raised a little bit over 10000 So, But this is very urgent, and of course, 20000 will not cover the whole construction for the shade, but this is the goal that we want to, want to have. And um, so you see all the shades are in gray color and are very attractive. But if you can look at the second slide, it will become colorful. Each um, sale is $1,000. So together, when we raise 1000 one shade will be colored. And we hope that before we say, ah, it's hot, um, we have $20,000. You know, all the shades will be um, covered. And at the end, we will celebrate and we'll give a little treat for everybody once we reach that $20,000 goal. Is that good? Are we all for it? Awesome! <laughs> and also, we are not only going to be asking around our own members. Feel free to um, ask your, not, I don't say, want to say neighbors, but your, you know, people that, that would support, you think that they will support you, and feel free to ask them, you know, can you donate a little bit for our church so that, you know, when you come to visit with me, you know, you have some shade, beautiful shade. It's not going to be the one that we had before. It's going to be very beautiful, I promise. Is Chris here? Chris? Yeah, Chris promised too, I think. So um, let's do it. And then every other week, we will give you an update how it's going. All right? Thank you. Good morning, church. Our call to worship today is taken from Psalms 95, verses 1 and 2. And it says, Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. Uh, may I ask for those who are able to kneel with me in prayer. God in heaven, we want to thank you so much for another day. We want to thank you for giving us life. We want to thank you for the fact, for the fact that we are able to be here in your place of worship, to be able to, to worship and honor you today, God. God, we want to thank you so much for the blessings that you continually give us, for the needs and for the wants that you allow us to have. But God, I also want to pray that, um, that you be with those who might have needs that, that are not mentioned. You know um, what every person here needs, God, and so I ask that you continually provide for those people. I ask also that you please be with our members who are sick, God, who are not able to be with our community today, be with them wherever they are. I ask that you please be with the youth and the young adults as they go camping. Allow them to have a great time together, God, uh, in communion and fellowship, not just with each other, but learning more about you. And God, I ask that you please continue to bless this church as it continues to grow. Bless this church and all of the fundraising that they want to do to be able to be a light in this community. I ask that you continually bless them in the plans that they have um, to be able to reach others for you as well. And God, I ask in a special way that you accept our worship today. May you find honor in it, may you find glory in it, and may it pr give you praise. We thank you for being a loving God. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Today's offering is for the Conference Church School Building Fund. Uh, as you know, there are many different academies in the area, and I think specifically we support uh, Redlands Academy as well as Loma Linda Academy. Um, so today's offering is for them. 
Also, I just wanted to mention that in your pews, there might be some of these envelopes. Um, I'm here with Berman University, our chamber orchestra, and it takes a lot to travel, um, as well as it takes a lot of expenses. So if you feel so inclined to also donate uh, towards our orchestra, that would be great. Um, and you can just put the envelopes into um, the baskets that the deacons will be handing out. Can I call the deacons forward to serve? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give to you this offering, God. We thank you for the blessings that you continually give to us. And so now, God, we give back to you our time, our talents, as well as the money that you've entrusted to us. We ask that you please bless it wherever it may go, God, and allow it to further your work here on earth. Amen. Thank you. That was really beautiful. Do you know who this is? Anybody know? Jackson the Turtle. That's right. And Jackson the Turtle is visiting here as part of the Children's Mission Road Building Church Fund campaign. So Jackson will come up a little later after the children's story. And as you remember, Jackson has is a vegetarian and only eats green things owing to his GI problems with a Velcro on the bottom. So only green things, please. And um, kids, come on up for the special children's story. Hello, good morning. Um, are all the children here? All right. 
you know, guys, I'm going to ask you guys to sit on these chairs here because we're going to tell the story on this side and the orchestra is going to tell the story for us. So if you guys can sit over there. How are you guys doing today? Awesome. Have you guys seen an orchestra before? Yeah, this is the string orchestra. We have only strings, we have violins, we have violas, and we have cellos. And we have a double bass too, but you couldn't travel with us. It's too big. <laughs> it's a very big instrument. Do you see that big one over there? The cello, it's even bigger than that one. All right, so I'm going to tell a story today. Actually, I'm going to use the orchestra to to give you an example of what a Bible text tells us about. Um, and the Bible text is found in um, 1 Corinthians 12. It says, Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. But in fact, God has placed the parts in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. If one part suffers... Every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. Now, you are the body of Christ, and each of you is a part of it. Have you guys heard that text before? It says that we have to be one in Christ, just as we have many parts in our body, and all these parts work together um, for our well-being. Uh, we have to be one body in Christ. And I'm going to use the orchestra to exemplify that. Because the orchestra is made, it's made up of many instruments, right? You have violins here, as I told you, cellos over there, and violas over there. <coughs> yes? Um, and if we, do, if, we, if we decide to work together, we can make music nicely together. But if we don't, um, then it's, very, it's a very confusing sound. Um, and you're going to just take a look at that and see how it goes. All right. Um, so, for example, we have Eugene here. He's going to play a piece on his own. And... Can you do that for us? Sure. Thank you. Sounds very nice, right? Yeah, so that's the sound of a violin. All right, now Catherine, she plays the cello, and it's she, she's going to play a piece by herself as well. Let's see how that sounds. right all right now let's check another part of the orchestra viola glory can you please play something for us thank you it's very pretty as well right okay now imagine if we're doing our own thing and we don't care about each other and don't care about how we sound together and if we're all playing at uh, the same time, different things. So I'll ask every one of you to play different things at the same time, and let's see how that sounds. Okay, here we go. They're all going to play their individual pieces, their individual music. How did that sound? Did that sound nice? <laughs> right. So would you tell that they were working together? No, they're each doing their own thing, right? They're not really working together as a team for one goal, right? Now let's try and see how it sounds if we all decide to work together and play the same piece. Let's see how that goes. That sounds much better, eh? Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, so it's the same with us, right? If we work together as a church, as um, you know, children of uh, Jesus and of Christ, we are better at achieving our goal and uh, are better at being 
you know, advancing God's work on the earth, right? Uh, does anyone want to pray for us today? Maybe. You want to pray for us? All right. Okay. I'll pray. Let's bow our head. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for the opportunity to have to be in church today for the Sabbath that we have uh, the opportunity to learn more about you and that um, we have to work as one and be uh, with you always so that we can be more effective working for you. Uh, be with us and our families during the rest of this day and this week to come. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I think. Now it's time for the children to collect the offering for the church building fund. Kids, you know what to do. We need some help holding Jackson the turtle today. Who would like to help? Would you like to hold Jackson? Would you? Yeah, do you want to hold Jackson the turtle? Okay, Maya. Okay. Thank you. Church, it is an honor and a pleasure to be back here today. As you know, I consider this one of my home churches. Doesn't matter where I go. I always love to come back. It's always a great feeling. It's always, it always feels like a homecoming <coughs> when I'm back. And I'm, I always feel welcomed by this church family. So thank you for making me always feel welcomed when I come back. But today, I have brought just a few friends with me. I think, they're, I think we roll in total 21 uh, deep is what is what the kids say. You run 21 deep. Is, yeah, I know. Can you tell I have to work with teenagers all the time? <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'd like to introduce to you all um, the Berman University Chamber Orchestra. Um, this orchestra is comprised both of university students as well as members from our community, uh, just because they have the skill level to, to join the University Chamber Orchestra. And it's been such a blessing to be able to, to work with these guys this past week. We started our tour in British Columbia, 
And we did about four concerts in BC, and then we came down to California. We had a concert at La Sierra University on Wednesday, and today is our last stop before we head home back to the Alberta somewhat cold. It's been like zero. <laughs> and as everyone's like, Celsius, let me make that sound a little better. No. It's been, that's, that's great for us. We're like, oh, it's going to be shorts weather when we get home. So being down here has been great. Um, the chamber orchestra is under the direction of soon to be Dr. Eduardo Sola. And I say soon to be because uh, at this moment, Eduardo is actually finishing up his PhD through Andrews University. For his undergraduate degree, he went to the conservatory in the Netherlands. Yes. And he also graduated with an undergraduate from a university in Brazil. And then he did his master's at University of Toronto. So without further ado, we hope that you all are blessed and enjoy the program that is prepared for you today. Good morning. Uh, we're going to be playing three pieces, um, and these pieces are formed of little pieces, so we're going to stop sometimes and continue playing. Uh, the first one is a concerto grosso by the composer, Italian composer Corelli. I don't know if you heard of him, Arcangelo Corelli. He's a Baroque um, 17th to 18th century <coughs> composer. Um, and we're going to feature three soloists, Harper, the hockey, and the violin, Zoe McCormick here to my right on the violin, and Catherine Fakely on the cello. And that's it. Thank you.
The second piece we're going to play is a violin concerto by Antonio Vivaldi, also um, an Italian composer. Um, and the soloist is going to be Eugene Burke on the violin. And uh, I'm sure you guys know this. This is a very famous uh, piece. It's called the Spring Concerto. It's one of the four seasons. Those are four concertos that Vivaldi composed. 
And he actually worked um, in a convent, like an abbey, um, and composed for an orchestra of little girls who were very good um, violinists. So these concertos are very virtuosic and they kind of show off the technique and the proficiency of violin playing. Um, and yes, it would, uh, Eugene is going to be soloing that concerto for us today.
Um, and the last piece we're going to be playing is um, St. Paul Suite by uh, Edvard, no, no, Gustav Holst. Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, he was, he worked for the school associated with the St. Paul's Church in London at the time, and this is why the suite is named St. Paul Suite.
Church, we want to thank you so much for allowing us to worship with you today. Can we please all stand for the benediction? God in heaven, we thank you for music, and we thank you for the talents that you continually give us. Let us be a light in the world. Help us to share your music with others in this world. Help us to bring the, the joy that comes from you and the love that comes from you. Thank you for being an awesome God. Amen. And just a reminder for those that want to join the parents' prayer corner, you can meet us at the front by the organ. And we also invite everybody to join us for fellowship lunch today.